Hello, everybody. My name is Ira Bowman. I am a live host with uh, Gravitas Q here on TikTok, and today I'm going to teach you something I actually just learned how to do myself. I learned how to add text and make it scroll and be able to hide it or share it whenever I want, update it, all those things. I'm going to teach you that in this video right now. If you are on your computer and you are using TikTok Live Studio or you want to record from your computer, I'm going to uh, share with you this technique. So first things first, make sure you have TikTok Live Studio app loaded on your computer. Make sure you're logged in. Once you are, the very first thing that you're probably going to see is the tool bar over here on the navigation menu on the left. To add text, what you're going to want to do is come up and go to the bottom, where I am right here on the bottom left. Click the scenes. It pops it up. And then you need to go to add source. I already have it in here, but I'm just going to delete it real fast. And then we'll add it back. So this is the, the hardest part. Go to scenes, go to source, add source. That's what you need to do. If you do those things, you're 99% of the way there. You're so close, right? So then you're going to see this little pop-up box that comes up. Make sure you go and find the text. It's on the left, the fourth one down. Click the text, hit the add button. I'm just going to slide this over so it's in the center. Make sure you click the add button. Now you want to type your text. I have a battle coming up tomorrow, my first, my graduation battle. I've not been a live host very long, and I've, I joined GQ a week ago. So tomorrow I do my commencement graduation, my graduation commencement battle. So here we go. So I've got that. I'm going to put that on my live today. So when you type in the text, the default is this one right here. But I want to recommend that you guys use any of these four. The reason being because it has a background, and no matter what is in your screen, it'll be easier to see because of the contrast between the font and the background itself. So let's say you want to go red. Okay, cool. So we pick that. We're going to come down and pick the size. Let's say I want the font size to be more readable. I picked that. Now it made it bigger. Okay. I can mess with the alignment. You guys know how to do that stuff. I'm not going to play with this. You can change the color of the font really simply just by moving just by moving this little slider color picker, okay? And so I'm in text color. Why is it changing something else? I'm not sure what's happening here. But anyways, you can change the color. Oh, I'm in fill. I don't know. Maybe that's the reason why. I'm going to change this back because I don't like that color. I actually know font colors, but okay. Let's just go to white. All right, it's easy to read. Okay, cool. All right, so we've got that there. It tells you the color here, by the way, which is kind of cool. You can change the background color. I do want to change that. I want it to be black, so I'm going to go down here to the bottom. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, that's six zeros, is black. F, 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 six Fs is white. Okay, so if you're working with color palettes, those are your hex colors that are the most basic. You learn that the first day of graphic design. Okay, so now the only other thing, and I'm going to do this in a second, so I'm going to add this source. Now, see, it's here, but it's not in the right spot. That's okay. Hover your mouse over the item. You'll see this little four square arrow symbol pop up. Once it's there, just hold down the mouse, and then you can move it. Okay, I can move it anywhere I want inside what they call a boundary box. So I have some limitations. I don't want it over my face. That would be weird. So I'm going to put it over the top of my head, and then I'm going to center it up. 90-90, in this case, is centered. All right? So there we go. Now I have 90 pixels on one side, 90 pixels on the other. It's above my head. It's static right now. What does that mean? It's not moving. What if you want it to move? Okay. All you have to do is come back into this text, double click on it. It'll open it back up. Sometimes I have a little trouble with that, by the way, but that's okay. Just keep clicking until it pops up. And then I can come in, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and there's this little scroll tab. You just toggle this thing, right? And you can have it scroll horizontally or vertically, right? That would be kind of weird, but you could do it either way. You can change the speed. You can make it faster or slower, okay? Once you have that done, just hit the apply button. What I recommend is if you watch the video to this part, pause the video just in case you have trouble. Go into your live, your TikTok live studio and try it. Try it out. Go into your TikTok live studio, select scenes, Pop add source button, pick text, add some text, hit apply, play with it. I promise you, once you get in there, it's really easy, intuitive to make these changes. You probably won't need the rest of this video at that point. 
and that's okay. But if this video was helpful, please like it. Please leave a comment and let me know. And if you could repost it for me, that also would be much appreciated. Have a great day, everybody. Oh, by the way, if you're available tomorrow night, click on my uh, bell. I would love to see you at my battle and, uh, and have your support. I'm really hoping to win this thing. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.